Hi YouTube, this your girl Juanita Franklin coming to you guys with another video on today. I hope all is well with everyone. I hope everybody's finding joy, happiness, love, and peace in their lives. I hope everything is going good for everyone. Um, today, guys, I want to do another cooking vlog for you guys. Okay, one day last week I told you guys I was going to make a pan of dressing for you guys. So today I'm going to make a pan, a small thing of dressing for you guys. And I'm also going to um, finish making, um, I'm also going to finish making the, uh, I got some more sweet potatoes. <laughs> I'm going to make for you guys. I'm going to make a small pan of dressing. I'm going to make some sweet potatoes. So I want to show you guys what I have here. Okay. Um, I have the sweet potatoes. I have the stove top stuffing mix, guys, to go for the dressing. To go for the dressing. I only got two boxes of stove top stuffing. Okay, guys, I made a pan of cornbread for the dressing. I, 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 guess, I know you guys know you cannot make dressing without cornbread. So, the cornbread is already done, guys. They go a pan of cornbread I made. Okay, and then I got to, uh, the, the, the uh, turkey gravy. I want to make, make some gravy for my dressing because dressing is not dressing if you don't have no gravy to pour over in it. Okay, I got the bell pepper I'm going to put on my dressing. I got the uh, onions that I'm going to put on my dressing. And of course, I'm going to make some. And I also got the eggs because you definitely got to put eggs in your dressing, okay? So I got the cotton eggs right here. I'm going to use this to put in my dressing as well. So I just want to let you guys know I am going to make you guys a pan of dressing and show you guys how I make my dressing as well as my sweet potatoes again. Anyway, guys, I'll be back in a minute, and I'm going to start on the dressing in the sweet potato. Bye. You too. This is your girl, Wendy Franklin, coming back to you again. Okay, I already did the first part of this video a little bit, so now I'm coming back to you because now, guys, you guys can actually literally experience me and watch me and see me make my pan of dressing for you guys, and I'm going to do these sweet potatoes for you guys. So now... I got the chicken in the oven for the dressing. You know, sometimes I make chicken to go with my dress. Sometimes I do turkey parts to go with my dress. Or sometimes I make a, make a whole turkey to go with my dress. It all depends on what mood I'm in and what I have taste for at the time and what I feel like doing at the time. So, okay, guys, now I'm going to get the pan out the oven with the chicken in there. I didn't put a lot of chicken in there. Some, sometimes I put a lot in there. This time I wanted to move, so I only put like one piece of chicken up in there. So, you know, but I'm still going to make the dressing for you guys, and it's still going to taste delicious. <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, okay, now I'm getting the chicken out of the oven. Here go the pan, guys. This is what the chicken is in. I'm putting it on top of the stove, okay, and I'm closing the oven up. Okay, so now, let me bring the camera a little up, up so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. I hope you guys can see me. Okay, here go the pan with a dressing come in right there. So now what I'm going to do, here go the pan of cornbread right here guys. I was showing you the can of, the pan of cornbread right here for my dressing. I'm going to take the cornbread and this is how I'm going to make my dressing. I got the spatula. I'm going to take the cornbread and I'm going to crumb it up in this uh, foil pan right here. That's how I'm going to do my dressing. I'm going to take, see this piece of cornbread? I'm going to take it and crumb it up in this four pan so I can make my dressing for you guys. I'm going to crumb up the whole pan of cornbread into here into some breadcrumbs. So this is how I make my dressing, guys. I'm teaching you guys. If anybody don't know how to cook out there in YouTube land, you guys can learn how to cook by watching my cooking vlog because I'm going to bring a lot of cooking videos for you guys. Cooking different kinds of stuff. And I'm also going to be doing a lot of different recipe meals as well. We do soul food vlogs, different recipe vlogs. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, barbecue videos too uh, when it's starting getting nice, the weather getting nice enough. I'm going to, guys, I'm going to take them. I'm going to be doing cook, uh, barbecue cooking vlogs. I'm going to show you guys how I put the grill out and barbecue my meat on the grill in the summertime. Uh, so 
you will be getting some barbecue vlogs coming too. Me barbecuing uh, out there, out there outside of my house, or in the park somewhere, or whatever I you know want to barbecue at. I'm gonna show you guys how to barbecue. Uh, my my barbecues be big. I be buying so much meat. I be buying all kinds of meat when I barbecue. So I am gonna show you guys how I barbecue as well. So I love to barbecue. I barbecue every summer. Just about. I didn't barbecue last summer, but I barbecue every summer. I really don't miss the summer barbecuing. I did last summer, summer, summer though. just one time. But since my kids was born, I've been barbecuing for years, and they're grown now. So I love to barbecue. Yes, yeah, so I barbecue. I get my sides together, guys. What I'm gonna have in my barbecue, and you know, I buy a lot of different meat from the grocery store, and. I clean the fat off the ribs and wash the ribs off real good and cut them up and season them down real good. Let the season uh, soak up in the ribs and marinate up in those ribs so the ribs can be delicious. Yeah, good God am I. Anyway, yeah, guys, so I'm just, because I told you guys last week I was going to make you guys a pan of dressing. So I'm breaking up the cornbread crumbs in the dressing, guys. And you guys see how I do my dressing. I'm breaking these cornbreads up into crumbs. Making a little pan of dressing for you guys. Okay? That's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to do sweet potatoes too. And because uh, I got some more sweet potatoes that I'm going to uh, make for you guys as well. Then I'm also going to have some greens. <laughs> going to eat some greens as well, you know, so I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna make different stuff. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm, today I'm gonna have greens and uh, dress a pan, dressing with some chicken and some sweet potatoes. Put the little chicken and, the sweet, and some sweet potatoes today. Okay, then soon I'm gonna make you guys a recipe meal, you know, let you guys see how I do my recipe meals and how I do homemade stuff from scratch, you know. Let you guys see that, but right now I'm just doing little soul food and little regular food cooking vlogs. I'm tired ready to do my recipe meal vlogs, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm breaking these cornbread up. So I already, you know, you guys watched my last few previous videos. You guys know I had definitely my family on this week. My dad's sister, Juanita, the one named after name after she passed away this past Tuesday. So yeah, it's been a, I had a rough week this week. I did a lot of grieving. I've been going, I've been grieving off and on, you know. But uh, you know, that's what happens when you lose a loved one that you love. It's, it's, it's it'd be hard. It don't be easy. You gotta deal with the pain of it. You gotta deal with the grief, you know. But as they say, time heals all wounds, you know. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm all, okay, this is the last piece of the cornbread. I'm almost through breaking up the cornbread, yes. Then I'm gonna show you guys how it look with the cornbread broken all up in here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how it look. Now that I'm gonna broke up all the cornbread up. Okay, now, I wanna show you guys how it came out. Then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna season my cornbread before I even put the stove stop stuffing on here. Then I got to make the, the uh, dressing gravy to go with. You know, dressing ain't dressed without dressing gravy. So I got to make my dressing gravy and season that and pour it on top of the dressing. So I'm going to show you guys this is how the cornbread look in the pan, guys. So this is how the cornbread look in the pan. So now I'm going to season the cornbread with what I seasoned it with. I'm going to show you guys what I'm seasoning with. Uh, I'm going to season my cornbread with some ground sage it's a brand new bottle of sage i'm going to open it up and i got brand new bottle of portrait season also in order to make dressing guys you got to have portrait season and sage without portrait season and sage it would be nasty <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it would be nasty you know that's what makes the, the, the dressing a dressing flavor okay i put some sage in there now i'm gonna put some i put some sage now i'm gonna put some portrait season in there guys like I said, if you guys don't know how to make dressing, you guys ever want to learn how to make dressing, watch this video. You got to have portrait season and sage to put in your dressing. If you don't, it's going to be nasty and it's not going to taste like dressing. So, yeah, so this is the portrait season right here, guys. I'm pouring the portrait season on top of 
the cornbread. This is going to give the dressing flavor that I need it to, I want it to be. Okay, then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little onion seasoning in it to give it a little onion flavor in the dressing. Then I'm going to put a little lemon pepper in there. Okay, guys. Then I'm going to put a little, um, where's my salt? <laughs> I gotta put some salt in there. Let me see. Ooh. Okay, they got a salt, guys. I'm gonna pick up my salt. I'm gonna put a little salt in there. Okay, that's all it for the salt. Then, guys, I'm going to. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open up the box of the stove's top stuffing and pour it in the pan, guys. That's how I'm gonna do. When I get to put all the ingredients in my dress, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So I'm going to put the stove top stuffing in here for you guys. Okay. I'm putting the stove top stuffing in here. That's one box. Now I'm going to open up the other box. I'm putting two, stop, two boxes of stove top stuffing into the pan. Now, guys, you, I know everybody knows that ever made dressing, or if you don't know how to make dressing, you gotta have stove top stuffing to make your dressing with or it would not taste good. When you go up in the store, you can buy, they got all kinds of flavor, of uh, stove top stuffing, they got chicken flavor, they got uh, turkey flavor, they got different kinds of flavor of stove top stuffing that you guys can put in your dressing. You can open it up guys and I'm gonna pour it in here. And this is how I make my dress. Like I said, everybody cook different. Everybody make their food different. Everybody season their food different. Everybody got their own taste, their own style of how they cook, how they barbecue, you know, how they do their soul food dinners and all that. Their Italian dinners, their Mexican dinners, or whatever like they like to cook and eat. Okay, now I don't put the, break the uh, stove top stuffings in here. So now what I'm going to do, guys, I got some bell pepper. I'm going to sprinkle some bell pepper on the dressing. To give it a flavor, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put some bell pepper in here. Okay. Now, get the bell pepper. Now, guys, I got onions. I'm gonna put some little onion crumbs in. I broke it. I'm gonna put some onions in here, guys. This is how you make dressing. Okay, I put some onions in there. Now, I'm going to crack some eggs. Put them in there. You gotta have eggs in your dressing. Got to have eggs, guys. Got to have eggs. I'm gonna crack some eggs put in here. Okay. We're we'll gonna put like six eggs in the dressing. But I'm put I'm gonna put like probably four or five, you know. Okay. Well, it depends on how much dressing you make. You can put six eggs in there. My mom put six in hers, but I'm putting four in mine. Okay, so then I'm going to put some sage and poultry season in there. This is the sage, guys. I'm gonna put some more, put some sage, some more sage in here. Okay. Then I'm going to put some poultry season in my dressing. Okay. I'm making the dressing first because the dressing it requires more ingredients. Okay. Now I gotta make my dressing gravy. Okay, guys, I'm going to make my dressing gravy out of the turkey gravy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the can of turkey gravy. And I'm going to pour it in this pot. In this black pot right here. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to pour it in the pot. Because uh, this is how dirty I am. Even though I wash dishes, me and my daughter wash dishes and the dishes be clean. I still always rinse it before I use it just to make sure it ain't got no, you know, all that, no extra germs on it for sitting up for a while or whatever. Okay, this, 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 here go to, this the turkey dress, this turkey gravy, guys. This is how I'm making my turkey, my gravy to my dressing. I'm going to take the gravy and pour it in here. Pour it into this pot right here, guys. Okay, I'm taking the gravy, pour it in there. This is how I'm going to make my dress, my gravy to my dressing. Okay. And then I'm going to open up another can of gravy to go on my dress. Now before I even, uh, okay, I open up another can. Open up another can of gravy to go on my dress. Now I'm pouring it in the pan, in the pot. 
Okay, I'm pouring it in the pot. Now, this is how my gravy looks, guys. And I'm going to put the gravy on. I'm going to put the gravy on right here. I'm just stirring. I'm putting the gravy on. Okay. And then I'm going to season the gravy. Now, this is what I'm going to season my gravy with. I'm seasoning my gravy with some poultry seasoned in sage. And I'm going to put a little onions and little peppers up in here. Okay, I'm putting a little sage in there. And then I'm going to put a little poultry seasoning there. That's why I always, every time I make turkey gravy, I mean dressing gravy, this is what I season it with to give it that dressing kick and that dressing flavor. Okay, then I'm going to put a little onions in my gravy. <laughs> put a little onions in there, put a little flavor, you know. And put two little bad peppers in there. Okay. This is how I'm making my dressing gravy. Then I'm going to put a little... I don't have no minced onion, so I'm gonna put use a little onion powder right here, guys. Give it an onion flavor. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little lemon pepper in there. Now this is how I make my, my gravy, guys. My dressing gravy. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna stir the gravy up real good up in there. I'm gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna stir the gravy. Real good. And let the onions and the seasoning and all that cook in there real good, guys. Now, so that's what I'm doing. I'm stirring up the gravy and let it cook. Okay? Now, while I'm doing, while I'm letting the gravy cook, I'm going to take this spoon right here, guys, and I'm going to stir up my gravy. I'm going to stir up the dressing real good. Okay, I'm stirring up the dressing. Um. Yo, 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 yo. Let me get me a cup. I'm ready for me. Wait a minute. I'm going to go in there and get something, but I think I've got it in here. I've got to the yeah, I got to the hill. I got to the hill. I got to the hill, guys. Okay. So I'm gonna um You know, you got to have juice in your dressing. You know, you can't handle dry dressing. So you got to have juice in your dressing. So you got to make sure you got water in your dressing, you know, guys. So you can give it a juice flavor when you're cooking in the oven, you know. Um, you can't handle dry dressing. So now I'm stirring up the dressing, guys. With all the seasoning, the eggs and everything out, the stove top stuff and everything I put in here, I am stirring up the dressing. Yeah. Okay. I'm stirring it up. And then when I get to stirring up everything, I'm sure you guys had a look and then I'm going to put the, the, the uh, gravy on top, stir it up real good. And then I'm going to put it in the oven and let it cook. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Then when they get done, I'm going to show you guys how to look. Okay, okay, okay. Looking good so far. Looking good, looking good, looking good. All right. Looking delicious. Okay, I'm checking my gravy. Turn the gravy up, guys. Hold on. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> I deserve to laugh. I've been crying all the week. <laughs> I've been crying every day. Every day, ever since Tuesday. I've been crying every day. I deserve to laugh. Yeah, that's how much pain I've been in after losing my auntie. 
But I do spend this, I thank God for my daughter father. Oh wow, he's really been very supportive of uh, this. He's been, he been very supportive through this whole thing. He's been calling me while he had work, checking on me, make sure I'm all right. He don't spend nights all this week off and on. So I thank God for him being there for me 100% when I really need him, you know, through this. Because I could not get through this by myself. It's not easy to go through something like this by yourself. So... I'm glad I'm not by myself. Don't want to be by myself going through this. Um, because when you go through something like this, oh, it's, it's, it's a painful thing to go through. And you definitely don't want to go through it by yourself. It's not easy. So I thank God for my daughter, Father. I send a special shout out to my baby daddy, Eugene. I love you to life. Yeah, I love him to life. It's a blessing to have a good man in your life and stand in your corner through everything you go through. It's a blessing. I thank God for that man. I ain't never like only him. <laughs> I ain't gonna never like only him. We're gonna grow old together. We're gonna be together forever and grow old together. Whew. Yes, God. I just put the grave up in the dressing guy. And I'm stirring the grave in here. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Yes, God. Yeah, I'm stirring, I'm stirring, okay, I just put the, the gravy on top of the dressing, guys. Now I'm stirring it up in here real good. Mm, mm, mm. Good God, man. <laughs> I said, good God from Zion. This food tastes good. This, I mean, this food looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, it looks delicious, 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 delicious. I'm stirring this gravy up in here. Got to have some gravy for that dressing. Okay, now I'm finna ready to wrap it up with some, I'm, I'm finna show you guys how I look, and then I'm going to um, put some aluminum foil on there and put it in the oven. So that it can use it. Yeah, I'm showed you guys how to do my sweet potato but for those that don't know and those that want to see it again I'm gonna do it again okay I am done missing making the dressing I just gotta put it in the oven and let it cook till it get done I want to show you guys how the dressing look I'm gonna move the camera over here so you guys can see how the dressing look okay guys this is how the pan the dressing look I hope you guys can see it real good that's how the pan of dress look. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some aluminum foil on there and put it in the oven and let it cook until it gets done. You got a foil. Yep, I'm going to let it cook until it gets done. Then I'm going to start all these good old sweet potatoes. I'm not cooking any sweet potatoes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, got the got the freaking pan dressing wrapped up. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven and let it cook for about an hour. It should be done in an hour. Okay, guys, I'm putting it in the oven. Okay. In there, now I'm going to cook for a whole hour. Now, I'm going to do the sweet potatoes for you guys. Okay, so now, there you go, the pot I'm gonna make the delicious sweet potato in. Gonna put some water in and put the sweet potatoes on. I'm gonna clean up behind myself, because you know when you cook, you make a mess, so I ain't gonna clean up real good behind myself um, when I get done. 
clean my kitchen up real good. I can clean my kitchen, make sure my kitchen clean before I cook. I can make sure my kitchen clean after I get done. All right. Now put some water in here. Put it on the stove. Now, here go my sweet potato, guys. It ain't that many in here, but I'm finna cook the little that I have left. Cause I made a soul food cooking vlog last week and um, okay, I'm putting my sweet potatoes in there. Now I'm going to show you guys again what I, I season my sweet potatoes with. Okay, but we, uh, I'm going to go with the butter first this time, guys. You got to have butter on top of your sweet potato. Because if you don't put butter on your sweet potatoes, trust me, it ain't going to give it a flavor that it needs. When you put, when you put a soul food dinner, you got to have all the ingredients you need or that stuff would be nasty. You got to have everything you need to go with it. Or oh, it won't taste right. So I'm going to cut some butter into my sweet potatoes. Okay. 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 Okay, I used the whole stick of butter, guys. It's gonna go in my sweet potatoes. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to put in my sweet potatoes. I'm going to gotta yeah. get a spoon out the drawer. Okay, so I'm gonna use vanilla flavor. Go on my sweet potatoes. I make some more sweet potatoes. I made some last week too, but I'm making some more today. Vanilla flavor, nutmeg, 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 nutmeg. Okay, and cinnamon. Now this will give it a sweet potato flavor. These are all the seasons you got to have for your sweet potato, guys. To give it that good old sweet potato flavor. Without these, it, it, your sweet potato would be nasty. You got to have the right season, the right ingredients. Okay, then I'll put some sugar. Okay, I'll just put the sugar in there. Okay. Now, I just put my sweet potatoes on. Okay, guys, I'll put everything on for you guys. Show you guys how I'm making my dressing, how I'm making my sweet potatoes. So now, I'll be back when everything is done. I'm going to plate the food and show you guys how the food look. Okay, got bye. See you in a minute. YouTube. Okay, this is Juanita Franklin. Back again. Okay, guys, my food is officially done. Yes. Gang, gang, gang. My food is officially done, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys um, my dressing and my sweet potatoes. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to take some of the fall off the pan of dressing. And I want to show you guys how did it come out. It came out looking delish. Yes, it did, guys. It looks good and it tastes good. Okay. I'm going to take you guys over here to the pan of dressing. You, you guys see the pan of dressing? Guys, this is my dressing. And then I'm going to take you guys over here to the pan. This is the sweet potato. You probably can't have to see the sweet potato in here. Because <laughs> I don't cook that much. Okay, so that's my dressing and my sweet potatoes I did for you guys on today. Now, I'm going to plate the food for you. I'm going to let you guys see me fix a plate of food. Okay. First, I'm going to fix my dressing. Put some dressing on my plate. I love me some dressing. That's a little soul food, period. I love me some soul food, period. Okay, now, now I'm finna get some sweet potatoes out of here, guys. And put it on the plate. Show you guys my food. 
Um, I'll do a cooking McBain the next time for you guys. Today I'm not gonna do a cooking McBain. I'm not gonna do a McBain with so. Okay, what I do with my greens? Oh, I'm about to get another fork out of here for the greens. All right, you guys. Now I'm gonna take the top off the pot of greens. And I'm gonna put me some greens on the plate. Oh. in my plate. Okay, here go my plate. They go the sweet potatoes, they go the dressing guys, and they go the greens. Yes. The greens. I love me some so Ooh, this plate hot. Huh. Okay, yeah they go the greens. I love me some so food. Okay guys, that's my okay guys so that is my plate of food. I just got them fixing for you guys. So now I'm fit to smash. <laughs> Cause I'm literally hungry. I haven't had no dinner today. I haven't had no dinner yet. I ate a bowl of cereal way early, but you know, cereals don't last in your stomach long. No, that's like a light meal. So I'm getting ready to smash and I see you guys in the next vlog. Comment, subscribe, like, share, hit the post notification button. Stay on this journey with me. I love you guys. Peace.